and I will put you first. That sounds like a match made in heaven. Members Own Credit Union is the type of bestie you can count on. Get started today at membersownecu.org slash BFF. Limitations may apply. Equal housing opportunity. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea. Formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th. Located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. Nutrition Authority invites you to try Anarchy, which is an exciting free workout for athletes and fitness enthusiasts who want the most out of their workouts. Anarchy can only be found at Nutrition Authority. Remember, when you want results, the solution is simple. Nutrition Authority. Stop in, call, or check us out at MyNutritionAuthority.com. Empower a child today with a teammate's mentoring program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours, and our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Banking should feel personal, not intimidating. At Western National Bank, we're about real connections. Founded by two ordinary guys with an extraordinary vision to know each and every customer personally. Fees, they suck. Avoid all fees with Western National Bank's Compass Checking Account. No monthly fees, no minimum balances, and get this, 5.12 APY on the first $1,000. Open your Compass checking account online in five minutes or less at mywmb.com. Experience the difference with Western National Bank. Visit mywmb.com. Member FDIC. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place too. Visit RoofingServiceCompany.com for more info today. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away for the thrill of reeling in a big one or just going out to have a good time on the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line here beneath Nebraska skies. Start planning your next fishing adventure today at Let'sFishNebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska Game and Parks. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Hi, it's Joel Norman, the voice of your Lincoln Stars hockey team. Tune in to 93.7 The Ticket every Tuesday night from 8 to 9 p.m. to hear the latest on the Stars with myself, head coach Rocky Russo, and special player guests. Hi, I'm Senator Bo Ballard. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. 
I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. That's why as your senator, I helped pass the largest task and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm Senator Bo Ballard, and I humbly ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hogwild do the cooking. Hogwild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hogwild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush and guru of Husker football history, Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green into Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green all by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Brought to you by Sand Hills Global on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. The first hour is proudly sponsored by Sand Hills Global. Sand Hills Global is looking to fill hundreds of new openings in sales, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Career and internship opportunities are available at the global headquarters in Lincoln. Apply today at sandhills.jobs. Got it. Boom. Guys, happy Eclipse Day 2024. <laughs> Are they already calling it Eclipse Day? <laughs> well, it's, it's the Eclipse today. It's no, I know. I'm just saying. Okay. Is it nationally being called? Oh, yeah. I know how they national day thing, too. Probably. In America. This is a big one. This I is feel a big like one. we're getting more and more Eclipse. Well, it, well, it feels it feels like uh, pretty much uh, quite a few years. I mean, it, that is an FFA like, there. I don't know what what's it's encountered. But but nonetheless, FCCLA. What's that? FCCLA. Oh, Future what's Career this? Community Leaders of America. The Whoa. Red Jackets. Wow. Whoa! Red Jackets. It just rolled right off. Eighteen. The tongue. Yeah, well, I've, I've done a lot of work with them. I wonder years. if they ride <laughs> scooters like the FFA they, they better people. Not. In their suit coats. They're not. They're going to find out. They're going to yeah. find out. They're um, going to find out. But no, I, I was just in high school, you know, six years ago. We were out on the football field watching an eclipse. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. These, these, cool. these are supposed to be like the rarest of rare events. Yeah. I yep. mean. And here we are. 1979, I think, was the last one. When? Before 2018? Well, there was. There are different kinds of ones. This yeah. one here is the 1979er. And then the one from I don't know the moon, sun, sun. Moon. That's the one. The one I was, the one I watched was when everybody went out to like the football field. It was like when it was complete darkness. Yep. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, hey, it's the way yeah, of the world. I'm pretty sure it's that's way of the universe, today. bro. Yeah, today I'll be eighty. What did it say? Eighty percent in Nebraska. And then like down, I was talking in the spillover. My buddy down in Dripping Springs, that they go like I think a full one hundred percent. They're having like. Where it's two, completely dark. Two, three hundred thousand yeah. people are coming into their town yeah, for it's this. A, it's crazy. It's a natural solar uh, spectacle that yeah. happens. Yeah, Sander, Sanderson says we just had a solar eclipse in 2017. Yeah. 20... So is that the same one that we're having today? Mm-mm. I no, feel like today is a different one. That was... I think they're different. First one since like 1979. Man, I, think. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Eclipse, I don't know how to eclipse keep, is keep an eclipse. It's going to get dark. They're going to be yeah. a, 
there's a, some towns where they have like state of emergency already declared. people losing kind of losing their minds it's gonna get wild bit. it's but is this a, na- is this a natural phenomenon as we know it right it's the natural phenomenon of uh of our universe basically things like seeing a meteor you know seeing things cross the sky Haley's comet yep hey I, I was i saw Haley's i was comet. in the between fifth and sixth grade when Haley's came across a uh, planet earth's path wow and that was and that that's a 75 year thing so i could push hard keep the health so right that, i could see it another twice. one it's coming up soon yeah no 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 time <laughs> soon like i said i could push for it i gotta because i was probably like 10 11 <laughs> so i had to go into being I, I, my goal is 80 so if i get oh, to 80 85 i could i could catch Haley's comet again so. I remember when Haley's comment went by, I thought to myself, I go, oh my gosh, that's going to be such a very long time before it comes back again. And then, then all of a sudden you get to like 2020 and you're like, oh boy, it's starting to get a little bit closer yeah. than what. So yeah. time flies, Nick. You, uh, you, you blink, you'll be 40. I we'll know. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. So, <laughs> yeah, um, okay. So D-Man helps us out here. All right. They, they say it's the same as the 2017 eclipse. It's just in a different path oh, this time. Oh, sweet. Gotcha. Thank okay. You. Yep. This Sounds little like of the moon and the earth and the sun. That's the the lay down, the layout. Yeah. So it's us, the moon, the sun, and the moon takes this little time across the sun's path for Look at that. Man, man I'm on, you, you're you know, just I'm a geography major, so it's kind of yeah. It's kind of in there. We hit a little bit of that, obviously, because we gotta <laughs> know the weather and forecasting and all that stuff. So we have some uh some classes over how the earth aligns and that happens and people kind of Lose it, you know. It's like, oh, it's the end of the world. No, you, no, it's it's just it's a normal thing that happens every so odd years. Do you have any interest in going to space? Uh, hundred percent. Wow. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm out on space. Yeah, yeah I don't need space. I'm hey. good. I'm good where I'm at. I mean, four, it's, four, it's, four, it's natural, the natural evolution of things. Oh, well, right? well, hold on. Four zero two four six four five six eight five. Who? What are more? What are people more terrified of? The ocean or space? Space. 100 but so there no there's I don't a percent, know, man. I there, say the percentages the percentages pretty the percentages will tell you space but there's probably like I say it's a good balance but I would say more people are terrified about space and what's out there than what's in the ocean cuz this things it's parts of the ocean we haven't discovered uh, it which is yeah. terrifying huh which is terrifying July so you're, so you're terrified 2061 oh. Haley's comet okay 2061 oh. I could make that yeah you got that I'll, got I'll that. be 60 at that time so I should yeah. be okay yeah, there I'll be I'm so, in the 70s anyway What's up? You'll be in the seventies. I'll be in my seventies. Sorry, in the seventies, like weather, like I'm weather. Okay, I should be in. Well, because I'm because you're twenty something. I'm twenty three. I'm forty seven. So you are twenty four years older. So I'll be sixty. You'll be eighty four. There you go. So I was like, I was, <laughs> oh, I was like, no. really? I was like, really? Seventies? Really? I was like, I, I thought know, it, was, man. it was quick. It was quick math. Didn't I got get it bad right. news for a lot of people today. Didn't get it right. That's okay. All these people that are going to Texas to see the eclipse. 80% chance of rain today. So that is going to take away from their viewing pleasure. Yeah. You know, sad day. Is this? Thanks, Chad and Kyle, Texas, for listening. Natural phenomenon. Very See, cool. So we have, we have people that are 100. Gator says, I'm a 100% more scared of the ocean. Scott Van, Scott from Brancroft says the ocean. Really? Downtown Scott says space. Um, Big B says the ocean because of proximity. So Ooh. do you, if you hate the ocean, can you still go on, go on a cruise? You hate the ocean. I don't know, man. That's AG and I were having this conversation. Good, about why is the AG going on a cruise? Yeah, in about in January. Wait, so maybe, he's I, not maybe, it wasn't, maybe it wasn't AG. I can't remember who no, I was. No. I can't remember who I was having a conversation with about cruises. Yeah, my yeah. wife doesn't like them, but she's going. Wow. <laughs> and you're going. <laughs> no, I'm not making her. It's just like she <laughs> likes to travel too. So I'm like, yeah, I like hey. cruises. I mean, I'm not a big fan of maybe what's down underneath in the ocean, but don't worry about when that. I'm on the cruise, I'm having a good time. Hey, I only worry about it if whatever's in the ocean comes and messes with your boat. That's when you worry. Yeah, about it. that's what I'm saying, man. Don't even. I don't. If it's not there, I I went down. There. I went down a big rabbit hole. It's funny that we're talking about cruises. I went down a big rabbit hole of like people going overboard. And, oh boy! And, okay, and, and I love that. And, Rose almost went I, overboard, but Jack saved her. And like it was, it was honestly the like situations of like people just jump overboard. Yeah. yeah. Right. And just just to jump in the water. Well, they for unfortunate reasons, you know, they yeah, 
And I, but it's it's a far fall nowadays. Like, oh, yeah, those, no, those, those yeah. ships I mean, are insane. It's a, it's a it's a walking hotel. I mean, yeah. it's a water a hotel floating, on water. Floating, yeah, they're a floating hotel now these days because they got roller coasters. They have two or three pools. They got a pool mid deck. Got a pool on the aft and on the uh, the backside. I can't think. Of, was it backside of the boat's called? Uh, I know. I said. I think it's aft or oh, I like that uh, forward or whatever. That's forward is the front. Aft is the back. Yeah. Yeah, and so you got, crazy. and then you got movie theaters in the in the middle of the twenty five hundred. It's, it's amazing. Theater. It's so because they, they want to obviously entertain. Um, why everybody's on the water? I say the biggest thing. I say what you got to do though, when you're on the boat. If you, a lot of people have motion sickness. Yeah, that's a big thing in cruises. And so biggest, I say one thing. Obviously, be getting the from getting the bands on your wrist to kind of balance you out. Another way to kind of remedy that is work out. Oh. Is because then it's because it's all about your body's equilibrium. If yeah. you're equilibrium, because the boat is moving all the time, you feel it, yeah. and your body's trying to adapt to it. And the biggest way to, the quickest way yeah. to do it is if you work out every morning. You don't have to go or hardcore. You got a patch thing behind your ear too. I think. Yeah, you could do the patch behind the ear. Just to, that's that's what I did when I went just on a boat in Mexico. Yeah, yeah. was was just a nice little dream. Uh, yeah. You're not dream, dreaming. Something dreaming like that. Pet? It's something like that. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, that sounds close. So, anyway, sounds close. All right, well, we're, we're against the time. We got a lot to talk about today. Yes, oh, yeah. uh, first up, Mr. Coach Calipari. Yeah. Yikes. 16. Dipping dipping out. God, go. Dipping out at 10-15 last night. Uh, <laughs> it was it was somewhat official this that is... uh, Coach Calipari leaving Kentucky, leaving $33 million on the table to come well, and join Arkansas. Still, he's still picking up the salary. So it's, he's what, what's up, Alman? The, the salary's still getting picked up. So Well, yeah, I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> so, I, and his, Real, uh, his ninth Arkansas. team. Yeah, his ninth team here. Yeah. So Memphis to Kentucky. Kentucky now to Arkansas. To well, replace, he's back in Tennessee. To replace the must bus. Yeah. Oh, so, no. Where is he at? Uh, Arkansas. Arkansas. There, he's Woo, pig so, suey. He's there you go. <laughs> oh, that's the little song. Tight, little tight, little Tyson money. A little bit of Walmart money. A uh, little right. bit of Jerry Jones money. Mm. Oh, yeah. All Let's right. We'll throw it a break. This is the drive. 93.7 the ticket. You can get diesel anywhere, but what about atomic diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with atomic diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how atomic diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hogwild do the cooking. Hogwild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hogwild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. One action, no matter how small, can have a world of impact on the life of a child. Cedar started because one couple believed that they could provide a child with a better life. And that belief grew into the Cedars that we know today, a powerful force for good that helps thousands of kids across Nebraska. Belief grows. Sometimes I just cannot believe all the storms we've gone through here. I can only hope that we'll be able to leave this house to you one day, baby. You're our legacy. Planning for these disasters will make sure we're safe. And is the best way to protect that legacy. Protect your legacy. Visit ready.gov forward slash plan for the tools and tips you need to start your emergency preparedness plan today. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays 
on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Couple. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at coppelcars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Banking should feel personal, not intimidating. At Western National Bank, we're about real connections. Founded by two ordinary guys with an extraordinary vision to know each and every customer personally. Fees, they suck. Avoid all fees with Western National Bank's Compass Checking Account. No monthly fees, no minimum balances, and get this, 5.12 APY on the first $1,000. Open your Compass Checking Account online in five minutes or less at mywmb.com. Experience the difference with Western National Bank. Visit mywmb.com. Member FDIC. Rico here with HIS Auto Care at 70th and Van Dorn, letting you know HIS is a great place to bring your vehicle for service. With superior service, bumper to bumper, we'll treat your vehicle like it's your mother's. Doesn't get any better than that. So call 402-488-8934 and HIS Auto will make you glad you did. 5% off, mention this ad, and for sure your mother be proud you called. 402-488-8934, HIS Auto Care, 70th and Van Dorn. God bless you. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours, and our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. When you were a kid, clubs were cool. Robotics club and space club and stuff like that. But what do adults get? Book clubs and quilting clubs? Nah, forget that. How about margarita clubs and old-fashioned clubs? Get to Upside Bar and Lounge for the best clubs in town. Try all 10 varieties of Upside margaritas or old fashions, and take home a free souvenir glass. Grab the whole crew and pair it with Taco Night on Mondays or Whiskey Wednesdays. Upside Bar and Lounge at 29th and Pine Lake. High schoolers, unleash your creativity and learn about potential careers in broadcasting at the Digital Expressions Media Camp. Have fun, make friends, and get hands-on experience with video and radio production June 9th through the 14th at the University of Nebraska at Kearney. Scholarships are available from the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and spots are limited. Learn more at digitalexpressionscamp.com. That's digitalexpressionscamp.com. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Monday. Looks pretty nice outside. Looks like a golf week. (laughs) <laughs> if the eclipse doesn't take everyone out, but we should be what? fine, I think. We'll see. see. There you go. There you go. It's, it's the eclipse craziness. Well, yeah. Just don't fall into it. Don't get sucked <laughs> into it. You just could sit and enjoy nature. Yeah. You know, like I said, the, the galaxy's phenomenon. Ooh, I like that. You For, know, it, it comes around. So, so speaking so. of crazy, last night, University of Arkansas goes yeah. out and Plucks. It's a new basketball coach. Flux, a Hall of Fame coach. Mr. John Calipari. Doing Nick, anything? surprised by that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, okay, so surprised? I suppose so. I, I tweeted this out yesterday, and I'll say it on the air. Um, it's pretty crazy story of the whole Mitch Barnhart, who is Kentucky's athletic director, comes out after their Oakland loss in the NCAA tournament, publicly backs... John Calipari amid all this uh, 
just speculation and mm-hmm. frustration that he wanted that that Kentucky wanted Calipari gone. And um, they end up backing him, saying he's not going anywhere. And then lo and behold, just a few short weeks later, Calipari is the one to to leave on his own, which uh, leaves thirty three million on the table. So, and, and to go to an in conference school as well is is kind of crazy. Also, Arkansas travels to Rupp Arena next year, so it'll be interesting to see the the the, re, the reaction, the response when <laughs> he do when, it. He, when he rolls into uh, to Lexington next season. So, um, not not surprised, just or I should say. Not shocked, but a little surprised. I would say that um, this could create a domino effect in college basketball. Um, for example, it, it could do something like if uh, Scott Drew, hypothetically speaking, goes to from Baylor to uh, to Kentucky, then mm-hmm. you're looking at Jerome Tang, who turned down the Arkansas job, and Jerome Tang was formerly an assistant, formerly a, an assistant at Baylor himself. Mm-hmm. Another little just interesting piece before I give it back to you guys. Arkansas struck out on their first two choices. They struck out on Chris Beard, who decided to stay at Ole Miss, and they struck out on Jerome Tang, who decided to sign an extension and stay with Kansas State. <laughs> Calipari then down the road, here you are, mm-hmm. and it happens at 10-15 on a Sunday night. It's it's an incredible sports story, but nonetheless, <laughs> they got a guy who's got like a 78% win percentage in his career. Mm-hmm. Um, led, has led Kentucky, I believe, to six Final Fours. Uh, has been three-time Naismith Coach of the Year Award winner. I mean, this this guy... National type champ. Uh, well. l- let me tell you guys Kentucky's recruiting class, because obviously, hypothetically speaking, you, you would look at some of those guys to see if they'd follow uh, uh, Coach oh, yeah. Cal. 100%. Yep. The, Kentucky currently has the number eight, number 20, number 22, number 26, number 46, and number 73 players all committed and signed to go to Kentucky. Mm. Yep. There you go. Damn That's. Deal. I mean, you're talking about multiple guys, not only in the top 50, but also top 75. Yep. That you want to talk about a trickle down effect. There you go. And That's, you'll be seeing it. You'll be seeing it. I would say probably three fourths of those guys probably going into the portal and then probably end, ending up at Arkansas because I mean it is it's no lie out there what John Calipari does is he puts guys in the NBA that's been his trademark that he's been you know coaching with for the last probably what tw- 10 to 12 years probably mm-hmm. so what you see now is you're going to see these guys you know follow him to Arkansas I mean Arkansas right now I mean they've got to be ecstatic right now because I mean their basketball program is kind of I mean, they, they were decent. They they had some, with Musselman, they made some appearances. I think they went Sweet 16 a couple of years. But this year, they kind of, they were kind of in the mud. They didn't never really made any movement. Now, all of a sudden, you got John Calipari. He's probably going to bring with him, you know, easily, probably a top 10 recruiting class in the country. Mm. So there's life back into the Arkansas program. I'm sure there's a lot of Woo Pig Sueys going on this morning. <laughs> That's a little... There's a chant there. Huh? Oh, yeah. A lot of Woo Pig Sueys. Dane Altman, he didn't like the Woo Pig Suey. He got out of there pretty quick. But <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it, and, and that's the thing is it's just, uh, it'll be interesting to see the, re- the recruiting trickle down effect. And then I also think that just the domino effect in college basketball. Um, this, as much as it's a, it's a positive for Arkansas, it's a, it's a positive for, for Kentucky as well. Um, it's, it's a, they get out of a $33 million buyout, which is astronomically high. Um, I mean, you, you, that's like, that's football money guys. Yeah. I mean, that is that people were freaking out about here around here about 15 for Scott Frost. Um, not that this is more than double. So, well, depending the, on who they bring in, I mean, Cal- Calipari was also the one to, to one of the right. first guys to have like the, a hypothetical lifetime contract. Yeah, Like right. that's, what's crazy. And so, um, he ends up leaving. I, I don't, I, th- I believe the last time Kentucky and I read this on, on social media last time Kentucky made the final four was 2019. And they yeah. were saying like this is it needed to happen. They needed they need to find a guy to take them back to the Final Four. Yeah. Um. I mean, the names that you look at are obviously like I said, Scott Drew at Baylor. You look at uh, there's been some um, Danny Hurley, Dan, Dan, Dan Hurley from UConn. You look Nate at Oates. Nate Oates from Alabama. Mm-hmm. You're talking about though guys that have 18 million dollar buyouts there themselves. Yeah. So Kentucky would have to pay pretty hefty. Yeah. To uh, if they want to go get a Nate Oates, if they yeah. want to go get um, a Danny Hurley. I mean, you're talking about more than more than twelve, fifteen million dollars just to just to negotiate and have a contract. I almost think that they're going they're they're going to have to do that because these Kentucky fans. I mean, 
I, I understand you, you lost Calipari and there were a lot of people out there that didn't want Calipari no more. But mm-hmm. the thing is, is Calipari, like you just read, Nick, all these recruits that he still brings in and he's able to bring in these top notch. I mean, Kentucky's not going to go for, I don't want to say a second rate coach, but they're, they're, they're going to want a star on the, a star. Well, they're going to expect a blue blood. They're going to expect, yeah. they're going to expect yeah. a, a, not necessarily maybe legendary coach to this point, but a guy that's had yeah. proven success in the postseason. That's what they're going to want. You're going to have an upright rising going, well, why did we get rid of, or not get rid of Calipari, yeah. but why Allow him to leave, did we try to know. keep him if we only brought this guy in? So I think there will be a big splash higher for Kentucky. Well, once again, it's, it's going to be fascinating because we have the conversations, whether it's football, basketball, whatever it is, fan bases, and, and we can talk about it with Nebraska specifically, obviously. Fan bases don't realize maybe how good they have it until so it's gone. Yep. And, and and so not that Cal- they, they're they not going to be able to attract a big name. They will. It's yep. that will they be able to get to the we're, yep. we're the school with the most current active NBA players. We're the school that has, uh, you know, we're, we're contending for titles year in and year out. I agree. They haven't been the, the dominant Kentucky, but also. Guys, Calipari, if you're from Arkansas standpoint, signs a five-year deal, yep. probably around the $8 million mark a year. He's 65 years old. Yeah. So then you're looking long-term and you say, and this is what I'm going to be interested and excited to ask, you know, people from Arkansas and stuff is like 65 years old and he's starting a new endeavor. Does he flip up his mentality of the one and dones? Yeah. Does he flip up the mentality of let's try to get guys to the league as fast as possible? And does he try to build a sustainable program there? Yeah. But then it's also you have five years on your deal. That's long enough to do it in this day and age of collegiate athletics. But do you want I mean, you're talking about at the end of this contract, you're 70 years old. Do you want to sign another five years after that? I, I, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see like long term wise. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on the work. You know, he guys get there, they're. Uh, sitting in the middle of the pack of the uh, SEC there, you know, 16 and 17, 11th in the, the conference. So, obviously, there's a big, big movements, adjustments from recruits. They, they, we talked about transfer portal kids from Kentucky might come over, but then also coming in. He has to come in moving, you know, getting kids um, on that roster that can then have the roster that he's been used to coaching on that on, and get to that level. You know? It's going to be interesting, too, at Arkansas now to see their recruiting. Like, you think that he's going to bring over the guys from Kentucky that he's recruited. However, a few, a few. you're going to take Coach Calipari, who's got a great track record with bringing in top recruiting classes, and you're going to be matching that with Arkansas money, which I, I don't know if you've been down to University of Arkansas campus or not. No, I have not. Well, let's just say they've got, they've got, they've got some benefactors. They've got, they've oh. got some money down in Arkansas. Well, yeah, I, know I mentioned somebody I mentioned Walmart. Oh, During Walmart, break. Tyson, oh, and, uh, uh, Jerry um, Jones, Jim yeah. Lindsay. Yep. That was Nick over there. Yep. Jerry Jones. So you're now you're going to take some of this money that, and now you're going to put this behind Calipari, and it's going to be, yeah, I think it, it's well, going to be a it's going to be a plus for Calipari. I think the, going to Arkansas. The rumors are rumors. Obviously, we'll never know the the specific amounts. Rumors are five plus million dollars a year available in NIL money. Which, yeah. is mm-hmm. Which is incredible. Yeah. Awesome. They've got um, great crazy money in Arkansas. So and that was that was a big part. And it and it also I was reading an article, I believe, from the Athletic that uh it, it, this, this there was mutual interest way back in like December. And mm. and there was mutual interest. He felt like Calipari felt like you know this that he wasn't necessarily wanted or desired for in Kentucky anymore in Lexington. Um, and, and that's what's interesting nowadays in this landscape of collegiate athletics, guys. We're seeing longer tenured head coaches maybe making moves, yep. and we're seeing guys not even get to that point. Well, because things get stale, yep. and, mm-hmm. and and it's just and people always want <clears throat> exciting new adventures and coaches and personalities and faces. Yep. And so it's 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 interesting to kind of look forward and be like, okay, well now Arkansas is going to get that, Kentucky's going to get that as well. Um, but there was mention that I mean he's he's tight with the Tyson chicken chicken owner yep. right and he's a big booster a with money. with uh, with Arkansas so there was conversations there Arkansas don't forget they had a down year this year like AG Red yeah. they had been very successful yeah. under Eric Musselman so there was mm-hmm. no reason 
to make a change. There was zero reason. It was one down year. It happens, yeah. right? And so the, the Arkansas was probably not really expecting <laughs> Musselman to ever leave, but he mm. ups and leaves the USC, Indeed. who's now going to be in the Big Ten going forward. And uh, and that, that allowed Calipari to just kind of slide in you there know, once again after they struck out on Chris Beard and Jerome Tang. Yep. Mm. It's fascinating to see how it all works out. You know what's funny about this is Byron the Hog Farmer, he goes, nice to know we're good with Hoiberg. I'll be honest, when I first saw the thing come across the ticker that Arkansas is going after a new coach, the first thought that went through my head was, please don't be Fred Hoiberg. Please don't be Fred Hoiberg. Yeah. Because <laughs> I... I you could see a you know Fred Hoiberg you know maybe looking at entertaining the Arkansas job so I'm glad that it was Calipari and not Harbor or Hoiberg. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Hoiberg's pretty pretty happy where he's yeah, I was at. gonna say I, I I'm think, thinking that right now. Like, eh, yeah. but after the season he had, you know, you could see teams coming around, yeah. and sort of being like, hey. So, but I'm glad. But yeah, should be interesting. And like like Nick said, the dominoes will fall probably. I would 100%. assume probably in the next couple of days. I mean, imagine Dan, Danny Hurley here, because because yeah. Arkansas don't care that you have a national championship tonight. They they need to get a coach in place, or yeah. excuse me, uh, Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. Kentucky doesn't care. Yeah. And so it's it's now you have a potential phone call with with Kentucky and your agents talking to yeah. you, and you're trying to get ready for a national title yeah. and. You know, it's it, there's there's incentives on the line and there's bonuses if you win. Not picking up the phone. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff going on. Even like Nate Oates, you know. Here I, think, I think you I think you have to pick up the phone after the game. I think I think you have to no, pick up the phone after the game. I'm Hello. On this, on the title. In, 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 in this, <laughs> Danny in this, Hurley, he's not picking up the phone until after in the, in the game. In this fast moving world, I think you I think you pick up the phone after the game. I pick up the phone, but after the game, I, I got to focus on winning the title. During the game, halftime. No, not even that. I don't know. No, I'm Halftime interview I'm with Tracy in. Wilson. As the kids say, I'm tapped in. So after the game, after my team wins, Danny you, Hurley. You pick up the phone and say, let's have a conversation later this week. Well, I, yeah, just to be courteous to say, yeah, I, I see that you're calling, but I got a game to focus on. I'll hit you after. What does that say on the caller ID when the school calls? Does it have like <laughs> University of Kentucky? It says John Calipari because they're making the phone call from his office. <laughs> call That's, a good one. That's a good one. Dude. Yeah, there yeah. it is. All right. Well, we'll throw it a break. This is The Drive, 93.7 The Ticket. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Ninety-three seven. The ticket. Fox KFXL weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today. Expecting mainly sunny skies, and it will be a little breezy, but mild with a high around sixty-seven. Tonight, mainly clear with a light breeze, a low around thirty-six. And tomorrow, we'll see a lot of sunshine and calm winds, and a high around sixty-nine. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clutter for ninety-three point seven. The ticket and the ticketfm.com. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store, and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of your liberty in pursuit of your justice for those that have been injured. My name is Matt Knight, attorney with Liberty Law Group. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, call 877-42-LIBERTY. Our relentless trial attorneys are committed to the highest quality legal representation. At Liberty Law Group, we will fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. Once again, that's 877-42-LIBERTY. 
Adoption of teens from foster care is a topic not enough people know about, and we're here to change that. I'm April Dinwiddie, host of the new podcast, Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Each episode brings you compelling real life adoption stories told by the families that live them with commentary from experts. Visit adoptuskids.org slash podcast or subscribe to Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Children and Families and the Ad Council. I believe every child can succeed. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. Research shows that children do a better job in school when parents are supportive. In Nebraska, parents have a long tradition of being involved in our public schools. That's one reason our students consistently score in the top 10 on national tests. Working together, we can help every child succeed. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. At Southeast Community College, community is our middle name. Our continuing education classes offer personal interest, traffic safety and licensing, online learning, and adult education classes across Southeast Nebraska or online in your own home. Learn pottery or floral design. Take a computer course. Learn Spanish. How to start writing a book or Air Fryer 101. See the full schedule of continuing education classes online at southeast.edu slash continuing. SCC, your path to possible. You never think cancer will happen to you. I smoked for over 40 years. My doctor recommended that I get annual lung cancer screening. They were able to catch my cancer at stage one. It's never too late to quit. Even if you're still smoking, you need to ask your doctor about annual lung cancer screening. Just 30 minutes a year could save your life. Call the Nebraska Tobacco Quit Line. 1-800-QUIT-NOW. 1-800-784-8669. Paid for by Tobacco Free Nebraska. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes and the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit, update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job. It's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates, with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch the NCAA tournament from the round of 64 all the way to the championship. Bring your friends and family in to enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early, grab your spot, and settle in for a day of NCAA tournament basketball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th in Yankee Hill. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours, and our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that person first person weekday mornings at 7 30 you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from bagels and joe all you have to do is shut up simple two questions for you two for sip win and the bagels are yours lose well you don't want to lose you lost monday you lost wednesday you're a loser shut up simple weekday mornings at 7 30 brought to you by bagels and joe now back to the drive with ad raf and amon green on 93 7 the ticket and the ticket fm.com
All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Monday, Thunder Not Collins. You just want to let everyone know that a new roadie entered the world on Saturday afternoon, shortly after Nebraska baseball went up 6-2. to two. So congratulations, Thunder Not Collins. That's awesome. We always love no more refs, roadies added to the crew. Right, Nick? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you Indeed. go. Yeah. I love the name, Thunder Not Collins. Well, we, got some, we got some history, 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 history. <clears throat> Here we go. All right. Let's see here. What do we got for some history today? On this day in 1974, mm. hammering Hank Aaron hit his 715th home run to surpass Babe Ruth to become the home run king. Mm. For some people, he still is the home run king. For other people, he's not the home run king anymore. Oh. <laughs> Nick, what what is your thoughts on that? Is he the home run king or is Barry Bonds, um, Roman King. I, I have Barry Bonds. I don't care about steroids. <laughs> I mean, it has nothing I mean, to do with hitting the ball. Yeah. I, I, it's, I mean, it's, still, it's still one of the hardest things to do in baseball. Exactly. In sports, I mean. Being pumped up on PEDs or not, yeah. you still got to find that curveball, that fastball right. As they, all it does is help the ball go a little farther. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I've been saying that since the, this year hey, started. I don't, I don't know if you not guys have year, seen. That year. I don't know if you guys have seen Adolis Garcia this season. He works or not well, works. He works. plays for the uh, well, Texas he Rangers. He, he works for the Rangers. He he plays for the Texas Rangers. And if you look at a picture from last year compared to this year, the man has lost his neck entirely. Uh, oh, um, so he's a big dude. Uh, he is there. There are suspicions. There's right what team? now. What team? Texas Rangers. He just Rangers. hit. He just hit in the weight room. Adolis Garcia. I mean, the guy has. I, yeah, I mean, there's like there's weight room gains, and then there's what he's been able to do, <laughs> and it is. I mean, the guy looks massive. It's hitting the weight room. The guy is massive. I'll have to show you guys a picture during the break. What else we got, Raf? 1976, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers make their first draft pick in the history of their organization. That oh, draft oh, pick, yeah. defensive end from Oklahoma, Leroy Selman. Selman. Selman brothers. Yep. You had the Selmans. You had, you had Lucius, you had Dewey, and you had Leroy. Probably um, Barry Switzer calls for the greatest players in the history of Oklahoma football. So Leroy Selman to the Bucks. They proceeded to believe to go 0 and 14 that first year as a franchise. But right. yeah. oh well, that's history right there. Amon, you got some history today? Yeah. I, I love me some history. You threw me off when you when Nick said the. <laughs> a doll just neck. I was like, I gotta check it out. <laughs> Did the dude has, I mean, yeah. oh, yeah, he's got, I mean, not, not, I've seen worse. I mean, not worse, but I've yeah, seen bigger than his, his is okay. It ain't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't give me no red flag. Oof, I would not. Is there, is the comparison of the 2023 picture there next hey, year? Oh, yeah. Is there uh, a, no, I didn't miss, okay, is, Sam, yeah. is Sammy Sosa rookie year picture to Sammy Sosa 10th yeah. year picture? Yeah. Yeah. Cause there's, there's certain things that obviously when somebody is doing PDs, you kind of, see things and being around in terms of obviously size within attitude or the way they talk and stuff look like at that. this guy sammy sosa at 145 sammy sosa okay. at 225 that, that's now right? that is now okay the, oh what's yes last year that oh, was show, me, kicker. show me uh something we we will go ahead and start doing history here all right all right this uh, it was i had it let me get back to it boom here it is back to it 2019 Little, little, not too far ago, but Fortnite World Cup raised a hundred million dollars. Good lord, and had over two million spectators, making it the esports game of the year. And then global awareness, other stuff in terms of it made as an industry in 2022 1.4 billion dollars in the esports world. Hello, 1.4 billion. Yes, With I, a said B. I said, B. I said, B. With a B. wow. So the World wow. Cup for. Fortnite raised a hundred million dollars in 2019. Hello, mm. and tell me, and then so esports gonna be an Olympics, soon, just guys? like winning the Powerball this weekend. There you go, it's about twenty billion now. Like, it's over a billion. Now, somebody, isn't it? somebody won it in Oregon, Oregon right? Yep. So they won it. Okay. One point three billion going to Oregon. Raph, what's that take home for them after taxes? You think? Oh, probably well, six hundred million. Probably yeah, 40, 49, between Give forty and forty nine percent coming out. Or the government just depends. They're gonna be just fine. <laughs> be good. Long time. They'll be good. They have a series on that now. I was flicking through the channels this past weekend and saw it's like a now reality show of it's called something like I I like I my lottery, lottery money. Like my lottery money purchase 
and it's a TV series. I think it's on TLC wow. or somewhere in, in the uh, Discovery Channel uh, neighborhood of TV shows and channels out there. I was like, what? You okay, Nick, over there? Yeah, I found the comparison picture, and it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, I just can't wait to show you guys. Well, speaking of that, like a couple years ago, no, about a year ago, I was back in Green Bay, and I did my podcast from there. And this is when AI, where it just came out that AI, you could put pictures into like your computer and they could come oh, yeah. up with, with oh, you change know. up. And so they did that. So they said to AI, my one of my co-hosts said to AI, you know, a picture of a mind green, da, 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 da. And it had me with like my bike, like it had me all yoked in every picture. <laughs> my biceps were busting out my t-shirt. My neck was be, like Nick mentioned with Adaldus. <laughs> I was like, so AI sees me as hey, this man. big yoke dude. I so it just popped in this, my head when Nick was talking about uh, this doesn't Adolfus. feel natural. This just does not seem natural. We got Garcia Adolis in 2023. Okay. All right. Now that helps. That helps me. And out. we got Adolis this year. <laughs> hey, he's probably hitting the weights hard, bro. Hey. He's probably going hard hey, in man. the weight room, man. I, I'm sure that's part of it. Yeah. I'm sure that's part of it. <laughs> it's it part of it. <laughs> True facts. He's getting older. Hey, what is Your body he? matures. He's th- man, he's 31. So <laughs> this is his dad's strength. In. He's getting into his the grown man strength yep. at that time. I'm still waiting for mine. <laughs> so, so you're, Nick, Nick, you're right outside the. Were you 23? Right? 24? Yeah. So I'll, I'll get so there you're eventually. About, you're about two years getting into that grown man strength. Okay. Cool. Area. Cool. So it's and around I, 26. Then I look like that. So that's when my around, neck. That's when my neck disappears. Around 26, 27, you'll start to. That's if, the, if you're hitting the weight room just dang. right. All right. So that's when the yeah. ne- that's when the neck becomes the same size as my head. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Hey, and that's not a bad thing if you're doing it right. <laughs> you're doing it right. Anyways, that is the break, guys. <laughs> All right, we'll throw the break. It's the drive, 93.7 the ticket. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in April. Try their brand new cake batter cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. And try the caramel latte as 10% of proceeds from that drink will go to the foundation for Lincoln Public Schools. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Here you go. Coffee's on me and my new BFF. I thought I was your best friend forever. BFF like best financial friend at Members Own Credit Union. Right now, they're offering $100 when you consolidate or transfer a loan or an existing credit card balance and meet requirements. Plus, you get great rates and free advice from a financial partner that will put you first. That sounds like a match made in heaven. Members Own Credit Union is the type of bestie you can count on. Get started today at MembersOwnCU.org slash BFF. Limitations may apply. Equal housing opportunity. Used to spotty shop or our customers send their friends. That's the greatest compliment we can receive. If you've been in an accident, we'll get you back in your vehicle as quickly as possible. Our technicians care about you and your family and repair your vehicle to factory standards. We handle your claim from start to finish and provide a free loaner car. Stop by for a free estimate. Houston Body Shop, just south of 88th and Highway 2. The most recommended Houston Body Shop. That's who we are. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. When you were a kid, clubs were cool. Robotics club and space club and stuff like that. But what do adults get? Book clubs and quilting clubs? Nah, forget that. How about margarita clubs and old-fashioned clubs? Get to Upside Bar and Lounge for the best clubs in town. Try all 10 varieties of Upside margaritas or old fashions and take home a free souvenir glass. Grab the whole crew and pair it with Taco Night on Mondays or Whiskey Wednesdays. Upside Bar and Lounge at 29th and Pine Lake. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of your liberty in pursuit of your justice for those that have been injured. My name is Matt Knight, attorney with Liberty Law Group. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, call 877-42-LIBERTY. Our relentless trial attorneys are committed to the highest quality legal representation. At Liberty Law Group, we will fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. Once again, that's 877-42-LIBERTY. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? 
the electrical workers of local union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Rain, snow, or shine, John Henry's is here to keep your home's plumbing systems working properly no matter what kind of weather Nebraska throws at us. From unclogging toilets and drains to installing new water heaters and water treatment systems, John Henry's is your plumbing expert in the Lincoln and Omaha communities. Visit us at calljh.com or call John Henry's. 435-5555, John Henry's Plumbing. Heating and air. And electrical. Alexa. Play 93.7 The Ticket. Okay. Playing 93.7 The Ticket. Alexa, turn down the lights. Dimming the lights. Alexa, order a pizza. The big one. All the toppings. Are you sure that's a good idea? Alexa. That's a lot of pizza for just one man. Alexa, just do it. Stop judging me. Just do it. As you wish. Thanks, Alexa. You're my best friend. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up, Siffle. Two questions for you, two for Sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up, Siffle. Weekday mornings at 7.30, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush and guru of Husker football history, Chris Rath. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green into Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green all by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Sponsored by Doors Plus on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. Hour 2 is proudly sponsored by Doors Plus. If your garage door needs maintenance or you need an entirely new garage door, give Cameron Hall and his team a call today at 402-590-5800. Doors Plus is locally owned and handles everything from residential or commercial garage doors, garage door openers, safety tune-ups, or custom design. Visit DoorsPlusLLC.com or to learn more, or to learn more, <laughs> Doors Plus, Garage Doors, and more. And we are back. AD is back. Yeah, off of hold for 34 minutes. But nevertheless, you, you roll with it. it. You roll with you it. You roll with it. Well, I tell you what, there was a lot of rolling yesterday, man, because uh, when Iowa loses to South Carolina 87-75, Don Staley and the South Carolina Gamecocks claim their third national championship and uh, 87-75 triumph over Iowa. You guys, when that game got started, 10-0 lead. I was mm -hmm. sharing this with AG mm -hmm. Rav during the break, uh, during uh, before the show came on. Don Staley did not call timeout. Yeah, yeah. Let him play. Right. 
she let him play. And she, like you said, AJ, she stood up one time. There was a few calls she didn't agree with. And then after that, she dropped it. Like she made one reaction and dropped it. And it just shows how the coach's reflection of the players and the players a reflection of the coach. Like she's coached yep. them up to a point to where don't react to certain things. Mm -hmm. And we know this as athletes, right? Mm -hmm. When you're out golfing, you out playing, you know, swinging the bat or playing ball yourself or on an organized team, like South Carolina, Iowa, you know, college sports, pro sports, when you let the emotions take over, then you're not the athlete you right. can, you should be. Right. And so that's why you see, you see certain players, you see certain coaches, yep. not much reaction to that because it's mm -hmm. part of the game. You know, and, and don't let well, that even I, I fracture revert, that. I revert back to yeah. Saturday night, or is it Saturday night, or Friday night? Uh, Friday, Friday. I can revert to Friday night. Friday night. So they have the charge, maybe a charge, or not charge, the um illegal screen. pick, illegal screen, okay? Mm -hmm. yep. So at the end of that game, uh, I mean, it could have been called, might not have been called. You know, you know, I to teach their own. Right. But I thought the way that Gino Oriema handled that situation, you know, he, I thought it was like all class. Like he did not it was the same. go nets in the press conference mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But then all of a sudden I was thinking back to when Nebraska beat Iowa and Lisa Bluter losing her mind during the press conference. <laughs> I could only really have imagined <laughs> how Lisa Bluter might have handled that situation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you always got to use your experience as a learning experience. And me, that's what she has to learn. Let me ask you guys this. Any guesses on Don Staley's record over the last three years? Oh, like 108 and three or something like okay. that. 105. And it three. is 109 and three. Awesome. In the last Beautiful. three years. That's insane. Her record Beautiful. is 109 yeah. and three. Beautiful. That's like Gino Oriema is like what? Early so 2000s. Beautiful. Well, so here's this. Um, There's a Twitter exchange. <clears throat> and so we know Gino Oriema has 11 national titles, right? Yep. Um, Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, So. Gino has a career 883 winning percentage, 11 championships, 23 final fours, 137 tournament wins, mm -hmm. over 1,200 total wins. Um, Don Staley, once again, 109 and three over the last three years, 97.3% winning percentage, and now three national titles. Moving. She's on the list. Yeah. It just the Big list. You, know, you you look at these numbers from yesterday's game man um th there's some staggering stats rebounds 49 25 obviously south carolina favored there offensive rebounds 17 to 5 blocks 8 to 4 uh points in the paint 48 to 32 carolina south carolina uh second chance points 30 to 16 uh south carolina um the biggest one was the re the, the rebounds, 49-25. Cardoza. Yeah, Cardoza did her backup, had a number oh, of rebounds as well. I mean, you look at look at Cardoza's stats. I mean, Camilla had, um, get back to that, 17 points. Uh, I'm sorry, 15 points, 17 rebounds, two assists, and three block shots. I mean, literally, once they exerted their will, they just settled down, and they played a lot to the demeanor of their coach. They just settled down, yeah. got in their rhythm. It's like, you know what? We are not going to allow one person to beat us. Yep. South Carolina is too good for that, man. We're not going to allow one person to beat us. And then South Carolina has a trio of players that stepped up, uh, two of which are freshmen. Oh, they're yeah. loaded. Awesome. I mean, it was just, it was, a, it was a sight to behold to see a team like that. And, and quite honestly, I didn't think they wouldn't have paid enough, you know, to their bigs. But they just, they got hot outside. So mm -hmm. And it wasn't just three-pointers. They got hot at those mid those mid, mid 10 to 12 range. mid range 10 to 12 foot jump shots and things which is kind of like you're seeing a unicorn in basketball <laughs> anymore anyway see anybody shoot a 10 foot jump shot they executed that uh, yesterday the glass was basically theirs and they just made Iowa a one dimensional team it's like if you're going to beat us yep. it's not, it's going to take more than just one person and that's Correct. what Gino was trying he mentioned it and tried to do it with uh when they played against Iowa so it wasn't quite up to par there but Having the firepower, having the players, and the, and the experience of the freshmen. I heard, you know, I remember listening to. I think it was Johnson. Her post game interview is like mm -hmm. the support of players on the team, the support of Don and her coaches to give the freshmen that confidence to go mm -hmm. out there and be the players that they are, right. that they recruited, and just say, just we. And then after that, we're going to coach you for the moment because. Right. Yep. That moment, you can't – don't let the moment be bigger than you. Just go out there and play ball for the reasons we recruited you for and then show 
everyone and in, in Iowa, you know, the type of player you are yep. mm-hmm. and play hard. You know, that 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 comment right there is like, man, I love it. I love what Don's doing down there for a lot of times. Anyway, I even had a tear drop down my face <laughs> after, she's, you know, after the game's over. And I'm like, because yeah. she's doing things. Yeah. You yeah. know, and then also giving shout out to Caitlin Carr, what she because Caitlin, as we know, Caitlin yeah. is doing things for women in basketball at all levels. I'm confused. You know, so about that's, that, I love I love all that. Mm-hmm. I'm confused about some of that. The Caitlin Clark, like okay. the hate that she is receiving from some of these like WNBA players, jealousy, and people talking about well when she gets to the league, <laughs> what well, she is going to bring so much more attention to their league. They mm-hmm. should be, they should have their, they should. Oh, I I just don't understand that. I mean, I am not an it, Iowa it, person. It, I will be the first one to say that, but. Caitlin Clark, the eyes that she has brought to college basketball. Yeah, awesome. yeah South Carolina, they're an amazing team. And but Reese. a lot of those people are watching for Caitlin Clark to see if she could. You know, I just I just don't understand that. It's it, it's kind of frustrating in a way. It's like here you, you're you're wanting to bring more attention to your league, and now you have this player, a transcendent player, that has that opportunity to bring more eyes to your league, and you're hating on her. I mean, like LeBron James is coming out and all these players coming out. Really? Uh, Magic Johnson coming. No, they're, they're in defense of her. Yeah, oh, in defense defense her. Her. yeah okay. I was about to say, yeah, well, well, you're going to have that because you have a lot of still, it's a professional league, regardless. And so those eagles, there's eagles there. Yeah. And we already know kind of where she's going, right? The Indiana, the Indiana team that is going to be the first overall pick. And so there's eagles there that know that's a baller's coming in. Yep. And it's gonna be line set, but all Caitlin has to do is be Caitlin. Yeah. Don't change yeah. because you're hearing yeah. the haters out there. Yeah. Be the baller, be the player, be the person um that she that you've been for the last four years of college and now about to go to a next level and just play ball because that's what's gonna shut all those people up. Mm-hmm. You know? Because you're gonna all everybody. My mom used to say all that the people talk uh, Jesus off the cross. Uh, uh, Jesus off the cross. <laughs> she says mm. that she used to say that to me all the time. Yeah, like people are gonna talk about you, yeah. regardless of what you're doing, good or bad. They're gonna mm-hmm. try to put a little mark in that armor. Yeah, you know what? They you don't. Take shots. You just they're gonna take shots. Let them. And I, I thought you know? the way that she handled it has handled it all year. Now, granted, I understand some people get irritated by the. The on court, you know, the yeah. hands in there, things like that. Well, you and that's a lot of athletes. Well, well, don't watch the NBA then because they do that. Yes, they yeah. watch, the, watch the guys, it's the same thing. It's the same yeah. thing you with know? the guys. I think she's and held, it's, brought, it's brought eyes to the game. It's brought eyes to the game. And like I said, I I, I love what Caitlin Clark has done. Uh, like you said, Raph, I am no Iowa fan, but you, 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 you how can you hate when you see you, someone you do what she did? Yeah. I mean, 30 can't points ignore it. last night. <laughs> I'm granted she had 18 the first, and then you figure she had 12 for the rest of the game, the rest of three quarters. Yeah. But and with that being said. You look at Caitlin Clark, okay? You look at the scoring uh, breakdown. Stokey had 11, Clark had 30, uh, um, Alford had 12, Marshall had 6, Martin had 16, okay? Now, you look at South Carolina. Kitts with 11, Popola with 14. Uh, you had another Johnson with a big three. Cardoso had 15, Hall had 7, Johnson at 19, Fuller had 9, Fregan had 6, Watkins had 3. I mean, you can see they're like, we will let you shoot as much as you want but we're not going to lose yep. a one person. Mm-mm. And you can look at the stat sheet There's right here, either. the discrepancies. It shows that, you know, uh, South Carolina is just a well-rounded team. And Rick from Wahoo, good morning to you. He goes, um, uh, do you think that Iowa girls run is coming to an end now? You know, I don't know, but with Caitlin being gone, that's, we'll, that's, yeah. we'll, that's find out. we'll find out. We'll yeah. find out. We'll see what happens. That's all we can do yeah. is wait and see what Bluter and their staff in terms of recruits. Mm-hmm. The turn of the attrition that happens with every college sport, every team, every from every sport out there. Yep. And so now we'll see how good of a recruiter that that schools are that Bluter is with her uh, coaching staff, and mm-hmm. see what happens in the fall. Oh, forget about it, Rick from Raw Wahoo. <laughs> the Big Ten goes through Lincoln. The, uh, <laughs> Iowa, by the way, just to just for context, Iowa has three top 100 recruits committed to them and Coming signed yeah, for uh, on the breaks, basketball. Break. <laughs> for, 40th, uh, 40th uh, ranked players, excuse me, number 40, number 61, and number 92 are all going to Iowa City. Well, think about Iowa. Nice. So you guys, Iowa blew her as much as she kind of rubs Nebraska folks the wrong way. She recruits well every year. You this is to. Iowa has as well. Think about it, this is the second time they've been in the national yep. championship game. So was it like that? Well, and don't forget that that Iowa came into Fremont, Nebraska, and took one of Nebraska. Yes, yep. snatched one so of our very own. Peace. So Iowa is far, far, far away from being irrelevant in college basketball. They've been relevant for the past number of years. 
and they will continue to. Obviously, will they miss some? Of course, when you have a once in a lifetime generational talent like Caitlin yeah, Clark playing for you, there'll be some drop off. But Iowa will be. You, you Iowa's going to Iowa. Yeah. Iowa is going to Iowa and be just fine. I, I assure you that to our chagrin here at Nebraska, but uh, they're going to be fine. Like I said, it, it was a pleasure to watch Caitlin Clark do what she did uh, for the past couple of years. Folks, we'll be back on this Monday eclipse. Which what, what, what time were you supposed? Not we're not going to see a full one, but what time is it supposed to go? Is it one thirty eight? Yeah, like starts around one twenty, one thirty in that range. Maybe I've been hearing different like times yeah. last like five minutes. I've heard somebody say an hour. I'm like, it can't be an hour. No, but I've just heard different times. So. It'd be like apocalyptic, right? That'd be <laughs> really scary. But you just got to roll through it. So anywhere <laughs> between five and potentially ten minutes, but. I want to say my. I'll say the. I'll go with the under. The under on it. Under for sure. <laughs> What's an over under? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. You can't send us to break. You, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Send us to break. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to break. Drive nine three point seven. The ticket. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Step into healing at Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. Our team of top-notch medical professionals turns pain into progress with state-of-the-art treatments and compassionate care. Visit prairieortho.com and discover the difference in quality orthopedic and plastic surgery services tailored to your unique needs. Your health matters and Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery is dedicated to helping you thrive. Reach your full potential. Embrace a better tomorrow with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today, expecting mainly sunny skies, and it will be a little breezy but mild with a high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with a light breeze and a low around 36. And tomorrow, we'll see a lot of sunshine and calm winds, and after the high around 69. I'm meteorologist Kyle Butler for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. At Southeast Community College, community is our middle name. Our continuing education classes offer personal interests, traffic safety and licensing, online learning, and adult education classes across Southeast Nebraska or online in your own home. Learn to ride a motorcycle, how to start a small business, how to dance, or take a course to advance in your current career path. See the full schedule of continuing education classes online at southeast.edu slash continuing. SCC, your path to possible. This is James Harrell with NP Dodge Real Estate. When I became a licensed realtor, I wanted a brokerage that would help me grow in my new career. I found that in Lincoln First Realty. When Lincoln First was acquired by NP Dodge, the training and support I received only got better. I love knowing I have the power of the NP Dodge brand behind me. I would recommend NP Dodge to new agents looking to jumpstart their real estate career and to current agents who want to take their business to the next level. Expand your career with NP Dodge. Call Eric at 402-434-2222. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Attention all Wings fans! 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tallboys and Bud Light, 
Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 cent wings. What's your radon level at home? Don't know? Find out with a call to Bryant Air Conditioning and Heating. 467-1111 for radon testing and mitigation. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves. And we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Old School with DP and J. So I knew that it was a crapshoot with the grown-up professional at the highest level. Who's going to bet? I don't know whether the starting center's girlfriend broke up with him, whether his parents have, have groceries that week. I don't know whether his roommate and him had a fight. So why would I, one, why would I want to bet on that? Uh, 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, expecting mainly sunny skies, and it will be a little breezy, but mild with a high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with a light breeze, no low around 36. And tomorrow we'll see a lot of sunshine and calm winds, napping high around 69. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clutter for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Monday. It's nice out. Getting ready for the eclipse. The excitement builds. And tonight, more excitement. The National Championship Basketball Game. UConn versus Purdue. That is going to be a game. And I, I look at this game tonight, man, Um you look at a team with UConn who won it last year, and uh, you look at just how how they started off slow, you know, on um, on on Saturday, started off a little slow, and then it was just like, yeah, we're just going to exert our will on Bama, and that's exactly what they because Bama came out balling at first, yeah. man, and then they it, it was it was similar, very similar game in my opinion to last night's game, you know, Alabama came out hot. And your veteran teams, your 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 deep teams, they you just want to withstand that first tide, that first wave. You withstand that first wave, yep. you settle down, and then you say, We're going to exert our will. You're gonna play the game that we want to play. Exactly. And that's exactly what happened last night, and that's exactly what UConn did to Bama. And um, it got to the point to where who was they one by like 15 points Saturday night, 85, 70, something like that, Nick. Yes, yeah, yeah 15, pulled you know, away, pulled yeah, away. Pulled yeah. away. And um, I don't know, what is, I, I guess, get you guys' opinions, what is Purdue going to have to do to slow the game down? To, because when, when Connecticut starts rolling and they get the big man start running up and down the court, yeah. uh, their two guards starts getting, I mean, what are they going to have to do in order to keep this game Ooh. to where you don't start? Because you can get down against double digits against Connecticut. It's, it's, it's a wrap. It's yeah. over. It's a wrap. I, I would almost say that it's it's going to be more interesting for and and crucial for per or excuse me UConn to slow Purdue down again. Mm -hmm. You think back to the Final Four games and UConn had to figure out a way to slow down Alabama, who's the the most explosive offense in all of college basketball, with the way that they shoot the three point shots. So mm -hmm. that they they proved to us that they can play multiple ways, which makes them so dangerous. Uh, Donovan Klingon is, is one of the good, one of the best players in, in all of, of all of college basketball. How we said it when uh, in the final four games, and I'll say it again, in the national championship game, the most important thing in my eyes is how this one's officiated tonight, right? Yeah, that's uh, going to be huge. Are, are, the, that's are, be huge. Are, are, are the, are the officials 
With um, 80. Oh yeah. With, with Zach Eady, are the officials, are, are they able to stay disciplined? And every time ED draws contact, not, are they going to be able to swallow the whistle yeah. consistently? Yeah. Right. Because we saw it on Friday to go back to the women's game. They were swallowing the whistles for three quarters and then fourth quarter came around yep, they and they started it. tightening it up a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. So are, are, are the officials tonight able to consistently call the game for, for the full 40 minutes, whether that's calling every touch foul or whether that's swallowing the whistle. I don't, I don't care which way it is. Just be consistent in that. And then guys, how about this? Just a cool story. Lance Jones for Purdue. He was playing at Southern Illinois last year. Mm. And he was the reason that they beat NC State on, on Saturday night. You, you talk about mid-major guys able to make a, a mark in on the big stage. Grant Nelson did it for Alabama. Yep. We we seen it. We saw guys from Illinois do it as well. Lance Jones playing at Southern Illinois last year. Uh, there is, I mean, when, when Fletcher Lawyer, Lance Jones, uh, Mason Gillis, and then you have Zach Eady on top of it, I think Purdue gives them, give, has, a, has a pretty good chance to do it tonight. I really do. You know, I, I think what's going to be key for Edie tonight, and I, and I said it, heck, when we start, March Madness started, supporting cast. And you look at the supporting cast uh, when he beat NC State the other night. Uh, Kaufman Wren ended up with seven points. Of course, yeah. Edie got his 20. Uh, but you have a lawyer with 11. You got Jones with 14. You got Gillis with eight. Um, but they were they stepped up when they needed to step up. Darn and so right. it, was, it was won by, it was a concert win. They all yeah, came absolutely. in together yep. uh, and did it together. Now, with that being said, though, with that being said, you look at UConn. Different machine. I mean, okay, yeah. you got Caravan with 14. You got Klingon, which is going to be a heck of a matchup with Klingon and yeah, Eddie. Big boys. Uh, and Eddie, he had 18. Newton chipped in 12. Castle had 21. Spencer had 14. And then Johnson had seven. Yeah. You look at the teams that won. Again, you look at the teams that won the championship. First, oh, so, so far, yeah. South Carolina State. You look at that breakdown of scoring. It was by concert. There were so many people that were in double digits in that yeah. game to where you, you contrast with Iowa. It was just you had Caitlin Clark and then one more that was double digits. People had like three, five, six, or seven. To beat this machine, as you talked about, Nick, uh, with Connecticut, all of those guys after you just mentioned are going to have to step up. And I, I think I think also one more thing. I mean, we talked about it in the entire tournament. We specifically talked about it on day one and two is the difference between teams that win and the difference between teams that lose or, or who do they have to take over when they need a bucket. Right mm -hmm. now yep. we're getting to the point where who do you have when the defense can you have other people to step up when the defense takes away your top score? Iowa, would, did they have somebody other than Caitlin Clark when 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 not only UConn took away their top right. score, they needed but also somebody. South Carolina, whether it was Hannah Stolke, whether it was a Fulter, whether it was Kate Martin or, or Gabby Marshall, it didn't matter. Uh, <laughs> South Carolina, when they got their scores take, taken away, a freshman and Tessa Thompson stu mm. uh, stepped up in the national championship game and led the team in scoring with, I believe, a career-high 19 points. Now it's going to be the situation tonight. If Klingon can take Edie out of the game or at least limit him, who's going to step up for Purdue? Purdue? They show that they can do it. Same story for, for UConn. If, if you're going to take Carabin or, or, or Klingon out of the game, who's going to be that third guy that you can lean on? It's going to be a balanced effort. Not to mention, guys, you have Blue Bloods going in the national championship game. You don't get that very often no. in the, the NCAA tournament. The where you have are, two Blue Bloods yeah. because the NCAA tournament's so wild that usually upsets happen. Well, the thing about the Blue Bloods, like you mentioned, you, you go a step further. UConn did this last year. The lights are not going to be too bright for them, yeah. you know, whatsoever. Yeah, you're Dan absolutely right. Yeah, Danny Hurley, he coaches a squad that he, just like Don Staley, he, it, in practice, I'm pretty sure – there's either conversations or yelling to the point to where you get used to it, the the noise, yeah. the racket. Yeah. And then obviously situational stuff, right? Because it's all mental at this point in the, in, in the se seasons to make sure your players go out there and execute all the plays they've been executing since November or September mm -hmm. when the season started. Because right. the biggest thing is when the time is now, mm -hmm. when you end that moment to score points, rebound, play defense, you don't just... You don't hesitate. Right. Yeah. You react instantly, instantly to everything. Like it's nothing you've been doing since day one. Mm, and that's yeah. what that's where the coaching comes in. And both those players are both those coaches, Don and Danny, same mindset, tough. They were great. Yeah. Like I, I've never seen Danny play ball, even if he even played ball, but Don Sterling was that gritty player. Yeah. She was that gritty point guard, small yeah. in stature, but she didn't, gritty. she showed up. Yeah. She created plays for herself. She yeah. created plays for her team mm -hmm. and was a leader for well, the Olympic team. You know, she mm -hmm. has Olympic background, right? You know, a couple gold medals there. So that when you have that type of coach in the building, that team, 
like I said, has to be when they become their reflection, then you're dealing with yep. a, a solid good team. Well, all right, all around. You know what, Raph? I think about this in AG. Um, when my in laws come to Lincoln from the farm, they say, Man, it's so loud here. It's so loud at night when they sleep because they're not used to hearing anything oh, on the racket. Yeah, it's so loud. And it's like if you, um, when I moved from my parents' house to Washington Street, my second year in college, whatever it was, and on 1010 East Street, the traffic from 10th Street. It was always loud there. Yeah, it was always loud. Not just from the traffic either. It was all sorts of things going on, parties and speakers and who knows what. But then after a while, you didn't hear it anymore. Yeah. Because you adjust it. You're used to it. UConn is used to the noise. They're used to, you know, the, the camera shots and the, all the, the, the chaos. Let's and the talk about the adversity. The yeah. adversity that they've been through the NCAA tournament, not only Absolutely. on the court, but their flight. Their yes. plane, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. So, so you talk about that. Also, I'm not sure. It's very difficult to go back to back, right? And that was very that, that's looming over their head. Yeah. Where, where Purdue, here's the thing. I, I would be interested to see or, and talk to like both coaches and be like, who do you feel like more pressure is on? Is there more pressure on UConn to go back to back? Or is there more pressure for Purdue to win tonight to show last year when yeah. they lost to 16 seed fairly Dickinson? That was not that was a fluke. Yeah. That is not who they are or who they are becoming. I think, both, I think both teams have a fair amount of pressure. Usually yeah. there's always one team that has mm -hmm. more, but tonight, and yeah. now you can even look at more things. I mean, like say Connecticut loses tonight. Does that mean that Dan Hurley's gone tomorrow? On his way to Kentucky. You know, <laughs> there's some there's a because if he wins tonight, you I gotta think you go for three. I, I wouldn't see Danny. Let, I'd be shocked. Let me let me tell you this. I would be shocked. You so you'd be shocked. I think yeah. I think a lot of people would be surprised, but let me tell you why. Because Kentucky has no problem paying $9 million for a head coach. And you know how big of a raise that would be? $5.5 million of a raise for, okay. for Danny Hurley. Or excuse me, $4.5 million yeah. of a raise for Danny it's Hurley wild. to come to go uh, be the coach at Kentucky. Hypothetically speaking, if they paid Danny Hurley $9, nine million a year, he would be getting paid four and a half more million than he does currently at UConn. There is a lot of side stories and narratives within this game tonight. Cole, good morning to you, man. Cole M says, when you look at UConn, their offensive sets are so superior to their opponents, it's almost impossible to stop. They get open shots so easily. They don't rely on one guy. They rely on the system yep. and coaching. And Cole Lamb, brother, you're spot on because the shots they got in the, latter, in the last five minutes of that game, um, the other night, it was just almost like, are they just doing a three-man weave out there? It's like almost like they're playing against themselves. Because like you mentioned, the system and the play calling and also the discipline. It's the they best. play with a lot of discipline. Yeah, the best way to play basketball. Because when you have yeah. multiple, I say playing a team sport, when you have multiple players that do everything, you create a problem for the defense. And if you have players that are either beat up from the season, got a bum knee or ankle, and they're just gritting it out, and they can't keep up with certain people. Mm. You know, we saw it with uh, UConn and Iowa, right? They were, yeah. UConn was beat up physically. They had players that were their top players, but bum knees, bum ankles, right. couldn't get uh, the hand in Caitlin's face or any of their teammates' face. And so that's why Iowa was able to edge out because mm. of the injury mm. factor. And we talked about that before the game had started. So when you have that's that little <laughs> bit of 1% difference, yeah. that's so you see the change in the game. Right Absolutely. There. Folks, we'll give our predictions for the game. We come back, we also have the RGT. On this Monday or Eclipse Monday, but under Eclipse, whatever you want to call it. We'll be right back, folks. It's the drive 93.7 the ticket. Yeah, figure it out. Hello. Hello. Believe it or not, old phones are one of the most common pain points in offices today. Many of these phones are beyond repair because parts aren't available to fix outdated devices. Whether it's a traditional phone system or cloud-based VOIP technology, Hamilton Business Phones can help upgrade your connection. We make it easy to sync your office phone with yourself for seamless call handling, no matter where you work. If your current office phone can't do this, you deserve better. Hire your local experts. Hire Hamilton at hamiltonisbusiness.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, expecting mainly sunny skies, and it will be a little breezy, but mild with a high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with a light breeze, and a low around 36. And tomorrow, we'll see a lot of sunshine and calm winds, and after the high around 69. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clutter for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Hi, everyone. Kendall Warnock. 
A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. Spring is here. Summer is fast approaching. With weddings, vacations, and weekend getaways on your mind, do not let car issues prevent you from getting where you need to be. Car problems shouldn't be something that you put up with. Let us get you back on the road in comfort and safety. We diagnose all makes and models from Porsches to Hondas, Toyotas, and Chevrolets. We fix a variety of issues with all of them with our talented techs and our experienced staff. A1 Automotive at 11th and L, downtown Lincoln. Always honest answers. The need in our community, if you just look at the numbers, it's frightening. We're serving over a thousand kids every day. With the passion of our people, I really feel like our potential to be of even greater service to kids and families who are struggling is just unlimited. But in order to have the greatest impact, we need all the help we can get from the community. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes in the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals, that's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Wall-to-wall -wall wine and spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street. From top shelf liquor to crowd favorite beer, wall-to-wall -wall wine and spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget. Plus, join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases. Shop wall-to-wall -wall wine and spirits at 5040 North 27th Street in Lincoln. That's 5040 North 27th Street. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit, update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at les.com slash report. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Couple. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at couplecars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. Banking should feel personal, not intimidating. At Western National Bank, we're about real connections. Founded by two ordinary guys with an extraordinary vision to know each and every customer personally. Fees, they suck. Avoid all fees with Western National Bank's Compass Checking Account. No monthly fees, no minimum balances, and get this, 5.12 APY on the first $1,000. Open your Compass Checking Account online in five minutes or less at mywmb.com. Experience the difference with Western National Bank. Visit mywmb.com. Member FDIC. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Spring is here, and Acres is offering special financing on select new John Deere lawn tractors and zero-turn mowers. Visit your nearest Acres store and test drive all the latest John Deere turf equipment and attachments. And for a limited time, with the purchase of a new John Deere mower, get up to $200 to apply to the steel power tool of your choice. From trimmers to chainsaws, gas, or electric, Acres is your home for steel products and service. Offer expires April 30, 2024. Subject to approved credit by John Deere Financial. 
Attention all Wings fans. 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. Hi, it's Charlie Stone back with the latest update from Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, your new car selection keeps getting better and better every month. Can you tell our listeners all about it? You know, it sure is, Charlie. It's great that our customers can come in, pick out a new Honda, and drive away with it that day. How many new Hondas do you have in stock? Well, right now we have just about 100 in stock. Hey, I hear you've won some very important awards in your service department. Tell us about them. Well, the first one is we won the award for the first fixed award. So the cars are actually fixed on the very first time they're brought in. Second award is our customer service experience award. And then our third award is our Honda Express Service Elite. And we rank the best in quality and customer satisfaction. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business. 27th and Yankee Hill Road or online at HondaOfLincoln.com. NIPCO is hiring CDL drivers for Ready Mixed Concrete, Husker Concrete, and Beatrice Concrete. NEBCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. Apply today and start your new career with a $2,500 hiring bonus. From NEBCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit NEBCOinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C.com. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raf, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is the drive. On- <laughs> this guy doesn't let it, let it breathe. I'm going to let it breathe, I know, but Dude, i got to do this reading. Florio. Get the timing down. you right? got to go to Florio's. Florio's, 14th and Pine Lake Road. <laughs> Florio's Italian restaurant provides a cozy, family-friendly setting where good food and good company come together. All you have to do is visit florio'sne.com or call 402-423-5576 to make reservations or place takeout orders. Go to Florio's. Now or when they open, I, I I might as well just take music out of all of the show. Never have music. I was just I just just I, done. It's done. I'm sorry. <laughs> Seattle Storm, AD. Seattle Storm. Seattle Storm. I'm sorry. Yeah, I tried okay. so hard. Rappy, it's okay. It's okay. I just wanted to get that Florio. Just Florio. It's okay, Rappy. Uh, Florio's <laughs> is delicious. AD and I got to see Bess on Friday. Mm-hmm. Yes. So yep. good to see Bess. Florio's so I got a, I got a question about Friday. Okay. I read a, I read one of your tweets. You hit a ball. I did. I did not hit. Okay, so I've had multiple people text me asking me if this is serious. I'm not sure if people saw the video. Jordan Spieth hit a ball on top of the clubhouse roof, Mm -hmm. and I made a joke on Twitter. Of I just did that at Pioneers yesterday. (laughs) I did not hit the clubhouse roof on Pioneers on yesterday. Now I will say I hit one in the parking lot. Why you (laughs) saying what you said then? (laughs) I was. Hey, ref, ref. So you've seen me hit the four iron. Oh yeah. Hard. So I was I was probably <laughs> two twenty five two thirty out. You killed it. And I hit the, I we were on number nine. Yep. Okay, so going back towards like the driving range. Oh yeah, that ball was smoked. Yeah, and I think I might have had. I thought that I was wrong about the wind. I was it was going right to left. Oh no, kind of a little bit of a downwind. Yeah, and that ball sailed. <laughs> it, it probably carried two. It probably carried two thirty. Hit the cart path. Bounced in the parking lot somewhere. was never to be found again. <laughs> no, I did not Play hit it on the clubhouse lies. roof, though. That's, that's did, some... did, I did not Play hit it, it on the lies. clubhouse roof. All right. <laughs> that sounds like my I was just checking because of... Pioneers was contacting me this weekend to, <laughs> was that right? to get, to get <laughs> well, your insurance some, person. Somebody replied and was like, oh, Tim will be sent in the building. I'm like, I don't even know who Tim is. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> there you so go. Anyway, <laughs> Raph's good take. All right. Today's Raph's good take goes out to WrestleMania. Really, dude? I'm gonna tell you what. I'm giving it, (laughs) guys, 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 guys. Listen to this. Okay. Two nights (laughs) over two nights, 145,000 people. Yeah, Super Bowl, man. To fill to Philadelphia. Yeah. 
I mean, whoever does the marketing <laughs> and all that for, for WrestleMania, mm -hmm. genius. Amazing. That is that is my Ralph's good take. And also, all the events they had, all the Make-A-Wish Foundation events and everything that these wrestlers do uh, for the kids, it's crazy. But I could not believe 145,000 people over two nights That's a to lot. watch wrestling. That's a lot of people that are watching bad acting. That I is my Ralph's that. good take. <laughs> I love it. But if you watched it on TV, you had an extra experience. Like I mentioned, before we got going with the show today, I was watching it with my family down in uh, or, or Florida in the Miami area. And they had like CGI things on the, why, during the walkouts. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. When The Rock got his walkout, they had electricity from his Bull logo coming on. And walking like next to him on the stage, it was like going. It was sweet. It and then insane. Roman Reigns came out, and he had his, uh, from his hip up, like Avatar, walking next to him. Mm. And it was like it was as big as the stadium. It was huge. It was almost reminded me of the uh the was it the drone light show here when we did volleyball uh, night. Yeah, yeah. And you know it was like that. I it's was like, production. wow. I said this oh, is a production. I was like this is Super it's Bowl insane. level it's production. I was like this is Super Bowl level. And then Kelsey came out. Jason Kelsey, he came out, mm. and uh. I don't know what he had on red. I don't know if it was a it was a jersey. It was red. I don't know if it was <laughs> Travis's jersey. Then somebody said, "Oh, he got a red jersey on." And I'm like, maybe he got Travis jersey on. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it, it it is. So that now is a crazy, crazy spectacle. I hadn't watched. I think I haven't watched WrestleMania in years. So just yeah, I was. I was like, wow, that was. I couldn't believe just the, just the 145 thousand mm. people. I was like, good, that's more. All right, AD. It's a lot of folks. Shout out to WWE. 80 Attitude Adjustment is sponsored by Integrated Life Choices. ILC is hiring for direct support professionals all over the state of Nebraska. Full-time, part-time days, evenings, and weekends. Help ensure a meaningful life for the people you support and help them to achieve their hopes and dreams. Apply at ILC.net backslash careers. Folks, it's a new week. It's the eclipse today. Next one's like in, what, 20 more years or something crazy mm -hmm. like that. If you could, uh, Enjoy that if you're in that area. If you're you know podcasting and listen to us online, of course. Here in the link, I'm not sure we're going to see much of that, but enjoy it. But the thing about it, folks, that looked at this quote this morning, conquer your fears and remind yourself that you have overcome a lot already and you can overcome whatever you're going through right now. So remember what you've already accomplished in your life, the obstacles and the setbacks. And Coach Bush and um, Sip and Jake had uh, uh, Matt Lubick that were on the show before that was uh, obviously was dealing with, uh, dealing with cancer and fighting it and beating it. And uh, it brings gratitude. So you think about the things you've already overcome before to help you get through what you're going through today. Mm. Mm. There it is. There it is. All right, ref, send us away. All right, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Be nice to each other and catch the WrestleMania replay if you get a chance. Oh my God. <laughs> Have a good day. See you. Bye. <laughs>hiring with their fast-paced growing culture they have hundreds of new openings in sales marketing traveling support software development web design and more full-time roles offer a four and a half day work week along with flexible internships in most areas career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in lincoln nebraska find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. Keep summer green with Judson Bileen and Judson Irrigation. More than 40 years ago, Judson Irrigation started taking in orphans. Lawn sprinkler systems installed by a quickie, cheapy summer job, install them and forget them outfit long forgotten. Call Judson Irrigation. They'll never forget you. Keep summer green.
Call Judson Irrigation, 402-420-6277 or 